Java, Cup of Joe, Seattle Speedball, Starbs, whatever you call it, Americans love coffee. And with 64% of us knocking back at least one cup daily, why not make it even better yourself? Lindsey Granger has hacks to make any cup gourmet on the top of the list. With a coffee house on just about every corner, we're buying a lot of cups on the run. But surprisingly, 79% of coffee drinkers also brew their own at home. There's a lot of little tricks and tips you can do to make your coffee at home a lot better. Alex Mason, general manager of Press Coffee, has three hacks to improve your next cup of joe. First up, for the people who like their coffee made quickly and easily, instant coffee. So your coffee is only two ingredients, coffee and water. The first thing you have to start with is great water. A lot of bottled waters, they add minerals in them and you want to stay away from those. Yeah, we just don't want too much mineral content in our water. It's going to prevent how much coffee we can dissolve into our water. Add a little bit of cold water into the bottom of your mug and mix in your instant coffee before adding your hot water. If you hit it with the hot water immediately, it's going to dissolve all the solubles a little bit too quickly. We want to slow that process down a little bit. This will help get rid of the powdery taste and consistency. Next up, hacking the popular curing cup. Whatever you do, never use the 8 or 10 ounce setting. It will just water down your coffee. Instead, pick the 4 ounce option to get a fuller bodied cup of joe. Once it's ready, coffee enthusiasts say add a pinch of salt. It brews super fast using turbulence. So when you're brewing that quickly, sometimes you can get a little bit of extra over extraction, some bitter notes, but that salt can temper down a little bit. But don't go too crazy with the salt, otherwise you'll probably have a really gross cup of coffee. And finally, for those who have a bit more time to spend, there's drip coffee. First thing you want to do is always grind fresh. So having a grinder at home is a really big piece to making great coffee. The perfect coffee to water ratio is two tablespoons of coffee per cup of water. Cheers. Cheers. That's smooth. Alex says if you're using the drip method, buy smaller bags of beans because coffee is best within four to 20 days of purchasing. For a pour over idea that will create an irresistible iced coffee, head to Facebook slash TV. Cool coffee hacks for a better brew on The Breakdown.